Okay, so let's start with this exercise, which is exercise 14.3 in the old book. Those of you who have the book, please refer to it. Uh, if you have the new version of the book, which is known as the rationalized book, it is exercise 12.1. So let's get started. This is a very easy chapter, okay? So it has like a lot of visual like graphs and everything, but it's a very simple and easy chapter. So uh, can someone please read out the first question? I don't have the textbook with me. Hmm. Okay. I don't have the textbook. But see, without textbook, it will not work. No. Let me share the screen then. Okay. Um. Okay, can I, I'll just share the PDF, okay? I'll share the PDF. It's better than uh, me sharing two screens at the same time. I'm just sharing this PDF. Wait a minute. Mom, should I read the question? Yes, yes, please start. Mom, a survey conducted by an organization for the cause of illness and death among the women between age 15 to 44 in years worldwide found the following figures in percentage hmm avni have sent it on the group okay sorry on the on the chat so there is a table so in this chapter you will have to see the table okay without the textbook uh, you can't really solve the questions so you need to have the table because i'm not going to write every single the entire thing over here right so it says so it's a pretty interesting survey the the survey was uh, about so this the, they surveyed the deaths in women okay the women whose ages were between 15 to 44 years they surveyed uh, the causes of death so it turned out that 31.8% of all the deaths were due to reproductive health conditions. 25.4% were due to neuropsychiatric conditions. You know what 25.4 means? It means more than one quarter. And 31.8 is way more than that. It is almost one third. So if you can imagine, if the entire number of women, if, if you can represent it using this, you know, using a fraction, if this is the number of women that died, then this entire portion represents the number of women who died due to reproductive health issues. So that is a pretty big concern, right? Okay, and then uh, similarly, injuries, 12.4, cardiovascular conditions. Cardiovascular means related to heart. Uh, heart issues, okay, cardiovascular conditions, 4.3, respiratory conditions, 4.1, and other causes, 22. So the first question asks, represent the graph, uh, the information given above graphically. So first of all, what we will need is, you'll need a graph paper. If you don't have one, please get one. And if you can't get one immediately, then just make do with something like uh, use a ruler to make a graph. So we're going to make it in this way. So we know that our figures are ranging from 4% till 31.8%, right? So the minimum, if we make it as 5 um 10, 15, 30, 35, sorry, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So I guess that will do. So 0, 5, you don't have to make it all the way till 100. Because in the, if you look at the PDF I've sent, okay, look at the textbook, look at the question. In the question, the percentage that is given, the data that is given, the maximum 
number is going till 31.8 so you don't need to go beyond 35 so please make the graph like this 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 hmm then you need to write it like this hmm you need to always mention this is the y axis this is the x axis on the left you need to mention what it is so female fatality rate it says in the the column in the textbook if anyone still doesn't have the textbook please ask me so it says in the column female fatality rate in percentage so what is 35 it doesn't mean if it says 31.8 it doesn't mean 31.8 women have died no 31.8 percent of the deaths was due to xyz reason okay so we need to write it over here female fatality rate bracket percentage <clears throat> and then on the y axis what is written at the top of the column causes right reproductive health condition neuropsychiatric this 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 so all of those things are what they are causes so on the x-axis we write over here like this causes so how many causes are there six causes so one bar graph from here to here so uh, see before we move further i'll tell you one thing we're gonna make we're gonna study three different types of uh, graphical methods and why do we study these different types of graphical methods? They are, uh, they are more than just three. You have studied in your 7th uh, grade, 7th or 8th grade, you have studied about pie chart also. Right? Remember pie chart? So pie chart is also a form of showing the data. Then when you were in 6th or 7th grade, you also studied uh, pictograph. Right? Um, then there, uh, there were tally marks. So different things, different ways, different... Uh, methods of representing it graphically are used for different cases okay so we are going to study in in ninth grade we're going to study three different methods so one is bar graph we're going to study bar graph we're going to study histogram which is very similar to bar graph histograph sorry histograph. and then the third one is a uh, frequency polygon Okay, so we're going to study these three things. So right now we are doing bar graph. So I hope you'll, uh, you've all you all made the, the graph like this. Now the first case is if I represent it like this. Or um, I'm just going to write it. Two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So the first one is going to be reproductive health conditions. Let's write it like that. We're going to have to write it very small. Reproductive health conditions. And the second one is neuropsychiatric conditions. Neuro means related to brain. And psychiatric is again related to more of the mind. So it's related to the brain and the mind. Okay. So neuro psychiatric conditions i am just copying whatever is written in the question the first call the second column of the question you just have to copy the causes in the x-axis okay just copy the causes in the x-axis 31.8 
cardiovascular conditions. <coughs> Respiratory conditions. Other causes. Okay. Everyone made the graph. Yes, ma'am. Good. So, reproductive health conditions. What does the question say? How? What is the percentage of that? <clears throat> hmm? What is the percentage? T one point eight. Yes. 31.8. So we are just going to 31.8 is going to be somewhere around here. So we yeah, are going yeah. to draw a bar. That is why it's called a bar graph. So remember this each bar has to be of the same size, the same thickness. Each bar has to be the same thickness. Okay, so let's say it's a one unit thickness. So half a unit here and half a unit here. So that is your first bar. Then the second one, neuropsychiatric conditions is 25.4. So 25 is over here. So just a little above that, you do this. You're just a little above that. So like over here, maybe. If you have a graph sheet, it will be easier. I don't have a graph sheet. So I'm kind of struggling. Then injuries is 12.4. So 12, so 10 is over here, 15 is over here. So it's going to be somewhere between this and this. It's going to be like exact mid, midway between these uh, almost. Okay. Then cardiovascular conditions, 4.3. So just a little below the, the 5 mark. Okay, so this is the five mark and we are doing cardiovascular conditions. So just a little below the five mark. Just a little below the five mark. Let's say over here. Then 4.1 respiratory conditions. Four point one. Okay, so now if you want, you can just shade it. You you don't have to shade it actually. You can just leave it like that because in the exam, it's going to take a lot of your time if you sit and start shading it. But I'm just doing it over here so that you can see what the graph looks like. Okay, wait, we forgot one. We forgot other causes. Other causes, 22%, uh, right? So it's going to be over here. Okay, now all of you, please show me your graph. One by one. Abdul Jabbar, you can switch on your camera and show me your graph. Yes, Abdul Jabbar, are you ready? Do you need a minute or two? Okay, Avni. Do you want to go ahead and show me your graph? Ma'am, I'm uh, drawing the graphs a bit. They're uneven. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Do that. Anyone else would like to show? 
Yes, whoever is done, please uh, switch on your camera and show. Okay, just a minute. Okay, good. Good Abdul Jabbar. I can't see your others wala bar though. Ma'am, I wrote it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You wrote it as? Numbers, ma'am. No, that is fine. The... But uh, see, in your exam, don't write it as numbers. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. One sec, just a minute. So, in the question, it is given as 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the serial number is given. Fine, okay, I guess it's fine in that case. I mean, if in the question the serial number is given, then I think you can write it like that. It should not be an issue, but it would be better if you write it. If you yeah, write it in this way, if you write the entire the, thing. Yeah, I understand. It's a pretty long thing, yeah. So, uh, the other thing is, chalo, you have drawn the entire graph. So, let's... So, this was the first part of the question, which says, represent the information given below graphically given above graphically. The second question, uh, can someone please read it? Second part of the question. The first question, second part. Yeah. Yes. The second part is which condition is major cause of the women's illness and death worldwide? Yeah. So what do you think is the answer reproductive health condition reproductive health condition so we'll just write that okay then the third part of the question yes please read it try to find that with the help of a teacher, any two factors which play a major role, a role, major role in the cause of the above major causes. Uh, in in the second one above being the major cause. Okay, so what do you guys think is a major cause for the? Uh, what factors do you think? play a major role in reproductive health condition being the major cause of deaths. What do you guys think is the major role? Like, what factors play a major role in this being the cause? See, um, I made the graph. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Did you not use a scale, a ruler? You didn't use a ruler? No, ma'am, I don't have a ruler right now. It's okay. with my sister. Fine. In the next class, please bring a ruler. She's not giving it. Doing... Okay. We are doing uh, this statistics chapter. And when we are working with graphs, we need rulers, okay? So in the next class, please make sure you have a ruler with you. So, yeah, we were, we were working on the third part of the question. So what do you think? What factors, like, why Why do you think this is a major cause of death? I mean, just think about it. Like, I explained to you that 
that it is 31.8 percent which is almost one third because you know third one third means one third if you write the fraction one third in percentage you can write it as 33 hmm? percent and this one that we are seeing is 31.8 31.8 percent which is very close to being 33 which means it is almost one third so that means every three out out of every 10 women who die out of every 10 women who die three die because of reproductive health conditions so that is a, an alarming thing and that is why the question is asking you what do you think what factors play a major role in this being a huge cause of death so see and this isn't just about india this is also about uh, this. The question says worldwide. The survey was worldwide, not just in India. So, a few factors that you can just write is you know lack of proper medical facilities, you can say lack of awareness. you can say um you can say lack of proper care so you, you can just write any of these c a r e care anyway so let's go on to the next question the second question Everyone done with this graph? Shall we move on to the second one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Avni, can you read out the question? Uh, the following data on the number of girls uh, to the nearest 10 per thousand boys in different sections of in different sections of Indian society is given below. Hmm. So there are the different sections question. of the society in the sense that uh, you know, scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, these are the ones that are reserved, they have reservations. Then non-STSP, and there are some backward <laughs> districts, then there are some non-backward districts, rural as well as urban. So, number of girls per thousand boys. So, see, God has created us in such a way that the number, in any given society, the number of girls and the number of boys, the number of males and females should be more or less equal, right? So, for example, if you go out and conduct a survey, let's say in a village or in any XYZ place, in any XYZ country, ideally what you should have is equal numbers, right? Equal numbers of men and women. But unfortunately, in Indian society, there are certain sections of society that they conducted the survey in and they found that for every 1,000 boys, the number of girls was not equal. It was not 1,000. It was always less than 1,000. It was somewhere it is 940, somewhere 970 and somewhere it is so bad that is 910. That means this is called the, the gender ratio or the sex ratio, meaning how many females are there as per males and the this ratio is not supposed to be so low it is supposed to be almost equal okay so in developed states for example in kerala in india you have the the ratio is very good it is above 990 which is pretty pretty good pretty understandable whereas it should be it should be equal right um, whereas in some countries, especially the Gulf countries, you will find that the number of females are more than the number of males. Okay. So, anyway, the second part of this question says what conclusions can be arrived at. So, well, we all know about this. We've all studied this in your younger classes as well, your previous classes as well, that, uh, you know, female feticide, 
female infanticide uh the fact that in rural society in backward societies it is not considered good to have a girl a girl child okay so whatever their reasons might be but uh, it was a kind of a primitive mentality of people to they didn't they didn't really like it if they had a girl child being born so there were many many cases of female feticide female infanticide so all of that stuff has been made illegal by the government but still it does happen many in many places so that is a major major reason why we have such an unbalanced ratio okay number of girls per thousand boys so anyway let's the second part of this thing we have done let's do the first part represent the information above by a bar graph so let's make the graph So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is like nine, ten. So it starts from nine, ten. We can call this as zero. Or if you want, you can call it. You you can call it nine hundred, hmm? then nine ten, nine twenty, nine thirty, nine forty, nine fifty. See, we are not going to write all the way from zero to one thousand. In the on the y axis, we are not going to write all the way from zero to one thousand because that doesn't make any sense, na? How are you gonna write so many? So we are just going to start from nine hundred because. there is no data like there is no um you can say <coughs> there is no particular section of the society that has this 900 so 900 is going to be blank there is going to be nothing at 900 at 910 we have something see the smallest if you try to look at the smallest number over here in the right column the smallest number is 910 so we are going to start with 900 then we will move on Nine hundred, nine ten, nine twenty, and so on. Nine sixty, nine seventy, and uh, nine eighty. Okay. Mom, can you do like hundred, two hundred, and all that? You want to do one hundred, two hundred, three hundred like that? Can't be do it, ma'am. You're saying one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. See, the problem with that is going to be, if you do it like, let's say this is zero, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. So all of these are going to be empty. There is no data over here. There is no data for four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. No data. So all of our our graph is going to occupy unnecessary amount of space. The graph is going to look like this. Let me show you. Four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. That is one problem. That the graph is going to be much bigger. Like now, it's going to be. You're going to show all of them are going to be like this. Okay, like this. Fine. So this much amount of space. All of them are going to be above this. All of them are going to be above this. so this much amount of space is you is useless right and see when you are uh, when you are showing anything graphically because this is a visual representation of data what is a graph it is a visual representation of data when you are doing anything visually you want it to take as less space as possible because if you are to publish it on the on a website then imagine if you have such a long graph and you're like scrolling down like it's taking unnecessary amount of space if you want to publish it in a book then every single amount of space it costs you money so this much amount of space is actually going waste now the other the other problem that we're going to face is 
you have data over here which is 9 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 like that okay how will you divide that into this much small space it will be difficult for you to be accurate over here accuracy will be a problem if you take that particular uh numbers those particular units getting it Did you get it, Abdul Jabbar? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. <clears throat> so instead of that, we are going to just write it like this so that in this way, we can represent the data in a more accurate way. Okay, so let's start writing the stuff. This is the y-axis. Let's mention what is on the y-axis. We have number of girls per thousand boys. So let's write it number of girls per thousand boys then section scheduled caste scheduled tribe non scst backward districts non backward districts rural urban okay so what um okay <clears throat> so please let's let's just write the short forms okay sc st non scst backward Non backward rural urban. Okay, so let's start plotting the graph. SC is 940. ST is 970. I hope you're all plotting the graph by yourselves because this is this is not something that you need help in. In case you do, just ask me. And if there's any doubt, I'm here to help. Non-STST. 920. Then backward nine fifty nine twenty nine fifty. Ninety again. If anyone has, uh, if anyone's done, you can show me your graph. Okay, we forgot to write this over here. 
you have to write section and uh, or sections whatever and then over here you can write x axis <clears throat> yeah then Hmm. You guys done? Okay. If anyone is done, you can just say that you're done and you can switch on your camera and show me your graph, okay? Okay, Abdul Zabbar, wait a minute. Let me try to, whoops, let me try to zoom in. Just a minute. Oh yeah, I can see yours now. Acha, you have not written the, um, okay, that is fine. 9, 10, 9, 20, fine, good. But uh, please, Abdul Jabbar, write the x-axis. Nejo sections are there that write that also. Fine. Shall we move on? Let's move on to the third question. Achha, um, the second part of the question. Y'all please tell me in the classroom, discuss what conclusions can be arrived at from the graph. So if you just look at the graph, 
what all stuff can you conclude? Yeah. Okay, we can say that the highest number of girls per thousand boys is found in ST. Yeah, can we write that? The, mag the highest number of girls per thousand boys. Number of girls per thousand boys is found in ST and the lowest in urban. So this is the kind of stuff that they will ask you in the exam key. What is, what can you conclude? So you just have to write this basic stuff that the highest is this, the lowest is this. Okay. Achha, one more thing we can conclude is that see, the non-backward sections, the non-backward or you can say the backward sections have more girls per thousand boys than the non-backward ones. The backward sections have more girls as compared to non-backward ones. And the rural, rural means what? Can someone tell me what is rural? What is rural and what is urban? Rural means village and urban mm -hmm. cities. Good. So, <clears throat> so the rural areas have more girls as compared to the urban areas. Right? So, this is also another conclusion that we can make. That backward has more girls than non-backward. I'm just writing in very short form over here. In the exam, this is not how you're supposed to write. You're supposed to write full sentences. Okay? And rural also has more girls than urban. Fine. So, let's come to the third question now. Since we don't really have much time. So, given below are the seats won by different political parties in the polling outcome of a state assembly election. So, there was an assembly election in the state. And there are some political parties. So, party A, party and seats. So, party A. You guys must be studying this political party stuff in your uh, poll science also, na? Do you have this stuff in your poll science? Do you? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah. Yes. We have this in geography. You have political parties in geography? Oh, no, no, no. I thought the girl... The previous question, yeah. The political parties we have in the... Yeah. Politics. You might be having some of these things in your economics also. We, we, we will have some questions in which you will think, oh, this is very uh, similar to what we studied in economics. Okay, so the seats won. 75, 55, 37, 29, 10, 37. Okay. You have to draw a bar graph to represent the polling results. Have you ever, has any of you ever seen, you know, when there's an election happening, uh, after the elections, there's the election results and they show a graph. There are different forms of graphs that they show. They show, sometimes they show a pie chart. Most of the times they show pie chart. Sometimes they show bar graph. Has anyone, has any of you ever seen, ever seen a, a voting result or polling result? Anyone? No? Okay. So, anyway. So, we can draw a graph out of this. Achha, now, someone please tell me. Now, look at, see, how do you decide what should go on your y-axis? Just like Abdul Jabbar asked, ma'am, why can't we do 100, 200, 300? That also makes sense, right? So, the question over here is, everything else is going to be easy. You're just going to have to plot the graph which you have done in coordinate geometry also. The main question in this chapter, especially for bar graphs, is how are you going to 
decide what comes on the y axis so now look at this and tell me look at the figures look at the data it is 75 the maximum is 75 look at always look at the maximum and the minimum the maximum is 75 and the minimum is 10 so now you know from where you have to start your graph and you know from where you want your graph till where you want your graph to go so you can't make your graph like you know all this this and this long you can't make it this long that just doesn't make sense na ki it's like one is going one bar is like so thin and another bar is like this so you can't make it that long you have to think of something yeah how can we divide our graph <clears throat> Yes, Abdul Jabbar. Any idea? The smallest is ten. The biggest is seventy-five. Nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. <clears throat> okay so we can do 10 20 30 40 80 80 80 all the way till 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
<coughs> now the question is asking which political party won the maximum number of seats which is very obvious from here who will tell me which political party won the maximum number of seats Yeah, just look at it. Fine. Zen? Zen? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. What is the question? Uh, which political party uh, won the... Uh, maximum uh, number of 